In this video, I would like to go over the clinical features of conus medullaris and cauda equina syndrome. So, as you can see, the spinal cord will end at around L1 and L2 levels, and the ending of the spinal cord is referred to as conus medullaris. So, if there is a lesion above the L2 level, it will cause the conus medullaris syndrome, and if there is a lesion below L2, it will cause cauda equina syndrome, which is due to the damage to the nerve roots that are coming off the spinal cord. So therefore, conus medullaris is mainly associated with sacral lesions in the sacral areas, while the cauda equina, since there are also nerve roots coming from the lumbar area, is associated with lumbosacral lesions. Now, because of the damage to the S3 to S5, both of these conditions are associated with bladder and bowel dysfunction, impotence, and saddle anesthesia. And by saddle anesthesia, I mean loss of sensation in the buttocks, in the perineum, as well as the inner surface of the thighs. One other feature that may be present in both of these conditions is the weakness of lower extremities. So since the cauda equina syndrome is causing lumbar damage, it's associated with weakness of the lower extremities. The damage associated with conus, however, is variable, and some patients may present with only mild weakness of the lower extremities. Now, one critical difference that will help you differentiate conus medullaris from cauda equina syndrome is the knee and ankle reflexes. So here I would like to review the reflexes with you. So here you can see that the biceps re reflex is dependent on, on C5, triceps is dependent on C7, patellar is dependent on the L4, and then the ankle reflex is dependent on S1. Now in patients with conus medullaris syndrome, their ankle reflex will be absent. In patients with cauda equina syndrome, since it's a lumbosacral lesion, both the patellar and the ankle reflex are absent. So let's go back here. So the reflexes for conus medullaris, only the ankle reflex is absent, while in patients with cauda equina syndrome, both the knee and ankle reflex are absent, and the reason is that ankle is S1, while the knee is L4, and since the cauda equina is affecting both the lumbar and sacral, both of these reflexes would be absent, and that concludes our discussion.